we'll discuss what is integrated pest management and then what is integrated disease management. So integrated pest man management is nothing but it is the method of controlling the pest by integrating the several pest management strategies such as cultural control, physical control, chemical control, biological control, all control measures, all control strategies are integrated to produce healthy crops and minimize the use of pesticides. So what is the definition of integrated pest management? It is an ecosystem approach to crop production and protection that combines different management strategies. So what are the different management strategies such as physical, chemical, cultural, biological control and practices to grow healthy crops because we want healthy crops and more production and minimize the use of pesticides. So integrated pest management is also called IPM. So it is categorized into two category, categories artificial control and natural control. So natural control here there is no any involvement of humans. It operates in nature but whereas artificial control it is done by humans. So artificial control includes cultural control, biological control, legal control, chemical control and physical control. So here let us start with the natural control. So what is natural control? Natural means it is done by nature. The control of insect pest by nature. So it operates in nature without human efforts. Means we are not involved here at all. Nature itself uh, control the population of insect pest. And if the population of insect pest is controlled. So also there is no any disease. So it includes first climatic factors so there are various climatic fa factors such as temperature rainfall light atmospheric pressure and air currents here you can see in the picture also second one is physical factor third one is predators and fourth is parasites now we'll discuss all these points one by one so first is climatic factor so climatic factors we know all like temperature rainfall light atmospheric pressure and air currents so temperature how temperature control the population of insect pest now the insects are cold blooded animals as we know that insect pests are cold blooded animals and on the other side if we talk about humans we are warm blooded animals we are able to maintain our body temperature but the insect pest are not able to maintain their body temperature they are cold blooded animals so their body temperature depends upon the environment so optimum range of survival is between 13 to 40 degrees Celsius means they can only survive and they are mostly active between the temperature 13 and 40 degrees Celsius and above this estivation begins means if the temperature is above 40 degrees Celsius so there is lot of uh, high temperature in the environment so they are not able to control their body temperature so they are not able to survive so they undergo estivation that is a resting period begins while below this hibernation takes place means if the temperature is very low like it is below 13 degrees celsius so they cannot also survive so they undergo a resting period known as hibernation. second is rainfall so body composition of the insect consists mostly water and contains 80 to 90 percent of water as we know that every organism every living organism on the earth is composed of 70 to 80 percent of water so body composition of insect also contains 70 to 80 percent of water so if there is no proper moisture in the environment they are not able to lay eggs so here is also example given red pumpkin beetle does not lay eggs until heavy shower of rain. If there is a red pumpkin beetle that beetle does not lay egg until the heavy shower of rain means if there is no any proper moisture in the environment then red pumpkin beetle does not lay eggs. Third is light. Direct sunlight kills the hidden stages of insect however they hide themselves during the day become active during dusk control the population of insect pests may cause during the daytime when there is a direct sunlight then it kills the hidden stages of insect what are the hidden stages of insect such as egg larva pupa these stages are killed and then uh, so that is why the insects hide themselves during the daytime and they comes after they comes out uh, at the time of dusk and then copulate and produce 
फोर्थ इज एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर सो इंसेक्ट पेस्ट आर ऑल्सो अफेक्टेड बाय द लो एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर द दे आर अफेक्टेड बाय लो एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर बिकॉज ड्यू टू लो एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर देयर आर हाई चांसेस ऑफ रेन बिकॉज इफ द एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर इन द एनवायरमेंट इज लो देन देयर आर मोर चांसेस ऑफ रेन ड्यू टू विच द इंसेक्ट पेस्ट हैज टू कम आउट विद देयर एग्स लास्ट वन इज एयर करंट्स एयर करंट्स वी नोट दैट वेन देयर आर स्ट्रॉन्ग विंड्स देन द इंसेक्ट पेस्ट आर वेरी लाइट इन विंड सो दे आर माई माइग्रेटेड फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू द अनदर प्लेस सो दिस ऑल्सो कंट्रोल द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ इंसेक्ट्स टू सम एक्सटेंट नेक्स्ट आर फिजिकल फैक्टर्स फिजिकल फैक्टर्स इंक्लूड्स द बैरियर्स सच एज माउंटेन्स सी लेक रिवर्स सॉइल स्ट्रक्चर and deserts so mountain here in the picture we can see there is a large mountain so some of the you know insect they are not able to cross this large uh, barrier so that is why their population is also controlled second one is sea lake rivers so so, so many insects do not have a capability to flight so they cannot cross the large sea lakes and rivers so hence their population is restricted to the one area only and they are not able to migrate to the another area and their population is controlled third one is soil structure so whether the insect will lay eggs in the soil or not it depends entirely on the soil composition if there is a availability of proper moisture or not if there is no any proper moisture availability then insect pests do not lay eggs last one is deserts so some of the insect pests are not able to cross the large desert area because there is a lack of vegetation and water so that is why their population is restricted to one area and they cannot migrate to the another area next is biological control means it includes uh, predators and parasites so predators are the animals which catch kill and eat other animals example ladybird beetle prey on aphid and mealybug so predators are animals which catch the uh, insects they kill them and then eat them so the most famous example is ladybird it also feeds upon the aphids and mealybugs and hence control their population next is parasites so parasites we know they pass their life on the other insects means they they live on the host and then feeds upon them and slowly they are killed uh, example flies are killed by fungus some parasitic bees play their lay their eggs on the body of other insect like you can see in the picture uh, the wasp has laid eggs on the body of the insect larva right and then after a proper incubation period the larva will emerge from the eggs and it will start feeding upon the host and slowly kills it so larva of these parasites feed on the tissues of a host and kill it so examples are also given sugarcane borers grasshopper and aphid are destroyed in the same manner by parasites next are physical factors physical factor involves manipulation of change in temperature or humidity means in the physical factors there is only the manipulation of temperature like use of high temperature and use of low temperature so use of high temperature includes sun drying the most famous example is drying sun drying of seeds next is hot water treatment next low use of low temperature it includes cold storage like cold storage of potato to prevent various tuber moths next is cultural control so cultural control is defined as a control of pest by slightly variation introduction or suppression of farming practices means we have to change our farming practices that is only the cultural control which are normally adopted in the cultivation of crop so it includes plowing or cultivation of soil uh, like you can see in the picture in uh, here in the first there is a pupa or any uh, stage of the insect in the soil may be larva but it is here is a pupa so in the second picture plowing is done so that pupal stages are exposed to the sunlight and they get killed and the third there is no any uh, insect pest so plowing and cultivation of uh, soil it controls the population of insect in this way second is destruction of crop residues because crop residues they offer a shelter and the food for the insect pest to survive and reproduce so that is why if we will uh, destruct all the crop residues then the insect pest will not 
find any shelter and food and hence they will get killed third is variation in time of planting if we will change the time of planting okay then also the population of insect is controlled because they are not able to lay eggs at the proper time because we have changed the time of planting and when our seedlings get established okay then only the attack of insect pest uh, occurs and then uh, we can withstand fourth is crop rotation so by crop rotation also the monophagous insects are not able to get the proper food and hence they get killed fifth is resistant varieties so resistant varieties are very resistant so they withstand the attack of insect pest sixth is mixed cropping so by mixed cropping uh, the distance between the same crop increases and due to which it becomes very difficult for the insect pest to infest the crop next is trap crop so here the most uh, famous example is the, the trap crop uh, is okra around the fields of cotton so all the insect pests they feed on the okra plants and our uh, cotton main crop is protected next is legislative control so there is nothing what is legislative control here insect pests travel from one country to the another country with imported products so it is therefore very essential that the imported products are thoroughly examined at the port and made pest free so we know that various insect pests they travel from one country to the another country along with the imported products so those imported products should be properly sanitized and should be made properly pest free at the ports and if necessary before sending them to the interior parts of the country and after that they are sent to the interior parts of the country for this all the countries have enacted a rigid quarantine laws so insects also reach new countries in aeroplanes the quarantine laws also call for disinfection of aeroplanes arriving for the foreign countries so various every country or various countries have different quarantine laws different laws for the uh importing products from the another country so here let us discuss one law that is destructive insect pest act 1914 so it prevented the entry of foreign insect pest into india under this act plants and seeds which are imported from the other country they should be imported with the certificate of health from the notified ports where they could be inspected for the pest and pathogen so first of all they should have whatever plants and the seeds are imported from the other country first of all they should have the certificate of health and secondly they are also inspected at the ports for the pest and pathogens so they are fumigated and they are also kept in quarantine before releasing them so the import of useful insect such as parasites was permitted to scientific institutions only so this this also have helped in uh, restricting the uh, entry of the insect pest from the another country into our country so next is biological control so the modes of suppression or elimination by using the their natural enemies of their secretions constitutes the biological control means here we use their natural enemies of the insects so it includes predators and parasites so predators predator is the insect or predator is one which captures kills and eats up the prey the predator is always larger than the prey the predators of insect pest include ladybird beetles dragon flies frogs spiders lizards birds and mammals as we know uh, that the beetles frogs spiders they feed upon various insect pest next is parasites parasites they feeds on the host without killing it a parasite is smaller than the host and many pathogenic viruses fungi and nematode attack the insect pest they causes diseases which often kill their insect host and they are therefore known as microbial parasites pesticides next is chemical control it includes insecticides so various insecticides are stomach poisons contact poisons systemic poisons so stomach poisons so it includes borax sodium fluoride these chemicals kill the insect upon ingestion when these stomach poisons only kill the insect when they are ingested and these are applied against the insect pest having a chewing type sponging type and spooning type of mouth parts second is contact poisons it includes arsenicals these chemicals kill the insect by simple touch so chemicals are applied as a spray or dust 
third one is systemic poisons so these toxicants are applied on the plants when the insect pest feed on the treated plants so then they kill because then they enter their body and then kill them next is fumigants these are toxicants applied as a vapor fumigants are always applied as a vapor these enter the insect body through the spiracles and kill them so through the spiracles which are present on the body of the insect they enters the body of the insect and then kill them these are generally applied to control the insect pest of stored grains and warehouses so next is integrated disease management so in a similar way what is integrated disease management integrated disease management is also a practice of using a range of measures to prevent and manage diseases in crops so here also various range of measures are integrated and then the diseases in the crops are managed idm that is integrated disease management applies all available disease management approaches involving cultural chemical biological control means all the measures to control diseases are integrated over here and then the disease management in crops is done like idm here is cultural control chemical control host resistance physical control and chemical control is integrated so this was all about the topic thanks